In today's video, we are going to use a variety of items to make our stamped images for our 12 stamped places for the December Junk Journal 2020 challenge. And we do use some regular acrylic stamps also, but just to give you some ideas in case you don't have stamps. And you can still play along. Stay tuned for stamping ideas. Hi everybody, it's Julie. And today we will be stamping in our journal. So we're going to show some other ways. Because I know several of you do not have stamps. So, But maybe you have punches. Okay, so I have this star punch. And I have some of the foam. The sticker foam would be better, but I have some foam here. Okay, so I can go ahead and cut out a star. Maybe two stars might be better. Okay, and of course remember you can draw, you know, cut a potato in half. And draw on half of your on your potato and carve that out and have a stamp that will count okay so we'll go ahead and glue our two stars together maybe and we are working on junk journals so there are all kinds of things that you can use to to stamp when I pulled it it made it a little off. So we're just going to line that up the best that we can. Okay. And then you're going to want to put this onto something. Okay, and it can go onto like a little wood block if you have it, or you can build something out of you know something else that you have. I'm looking for okay, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and just take this piece of scrap. This is from when we were Okay, and I, I want, so that I have more control over this, I'm going to go ahead and glue those together. Okay, and then I'm going to pull a piece up. Okay, and... Wow, I starred. That star totally moved. So whichever one gave you a better image. Okay. There we go. So there's one. I'm going to go ahead and let that stay there. And then I don't know if, if you've ever seen the video where um, it was the I'm trying to think of what Desert Island Challenge okay now I'm going to try I don't know if this is going to it should work actually. I'm going to use double sided tape to put this down. Okay. 
Okay, so I have a piece of lace here. You could use your double-sided ATG gun. Ooh, I need to, that's right, I need to remember to order ATG tape because um, Tom and I, he will be home today and we will not be going anywhere except we do have an order to pick up at a store tomorrow. But other than that, we are not going to be going anywhere where we um, will be in contact with people because our numbers here are just crazy going up. Okay, so there is a lace. Okay, and so now I am going to want to pull this back. And pull this back. And why am I doing that, you might ask. And that is because I don't want this to be what you see. I want you to see the... Remember, I'm making my own stamps here, okay? <laughs> and if you have rubber stamps or acrylic stamps like I have here, you know, that's awesome. And you're, you're very, very lucky. Um, but we do have people that don't. And so what I'm showing you here is alternatives using junk. Okay. So, okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut this. And these will be, um, you know, they will be crude, but that's okay. So there's that, and and here's this one. Okay. Another thing is using the edge of that. Okay, and um, okay. So just you know, looking at things differently and going, oh. I wonder if I can use that as a stamp and then trying it. That is going to be what, what you, one of the things that you can do. Okay. So let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and pull this out and okay. This is the back of this. So um, okay, so another thing is just taking your distress sponge and just using that as a stamp, okay? So that is, that is awesome, okay? So you can go ahead and do that. Then another thing is to take something, now we may end up with just the outside of this. Okay, but that is, that is stamping, okay? So that counts. I love it. We didn't get the inside, but we got the outside, and I actually really like that. I'm going to keep that right here because I really like the way that turned out. Okay, so now with our lace, okay, we want to want to get it good and saturated, And maybe we're going to want to put it on the edge. Okay. And it might take a couple of times. Uh, even just a regular rubber stamp. Okay, so we have an envelope here. Even a regular rubber stamp is going to take a few times to get... We, we call it seasoning. You have to season it. Okay. Okay.
well, the first one turned out. Okay. So get your color. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put it down again. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but you do get a, a look of lace. So making a lace stamp. Then we have our Okay, so isn't that cool? So using um, the punch and making our own little stamp out of the punch. Isn't that so very, very cool? So another thing that we could do is, you remember those heart stickers I was using um, yesterday? Let's see if I can find those. You know, they're kind of shiny, so but we can try it. Okay, we'll try a blue one because I'm kind of using the pink ones in that pink journal. So let's see. Here we have a piece from this. Okay, we'll go ahead and glue this down. So this is using a sticker. So we've used foam, we've used lace, we've used, now we're using a sticker. We've used the distressing tool and we have used um, the side of the thread. Okay, so you just look around, find things that you have hanging around and, and try it. Don't be afraid to try it. Erasers. Okay, so if you have a collection and you happen to have like a butterfly eraser, try the butterfly eraser. Don't be afraid to try the different the different things. Okay. And you'll get a different look with different things. And remember, don't be afraid to try it, you know, that that maybe they don't have ink at first like that one but then after we continue and then maybe you need to place your hand in a different spot there we go okay and look at that look at that stamping okay so this is with the foam this is lace this is the distress foam this is from the edge of the thread. I mean, there's just all these different things. And then you just go and look around and go, oh, you know what? I have the bottom of the, the glue stick. And it has like a really fine circle. Okay, so don't be, <laughs> don't be afraid to go around. See what else you have hanging around. You know, you might have a llama eraser that somebody sent you in Happy Mail that you just have here because it's cute and it makes you happy. And now it makes you think of your granddaughter because she's been reading to you the Llama Llama Red Pajama holiday drama or whatever. <laughs> Okay, so you can use your eraser. Just got to get your ink on there. And then press it down. And look at there. We have a llama using an eraser. Okay, so all of these different things that would be also considered stamps. If you're here for the premiere, <laughs> I'm waving 
and say hello to Lucy. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Lucy. <laughs> there she is. Yeah, Lucy likes to come and help. Actually, she likes to come and tell me it's time for breakfast. So there she is. And now we're going to go ahead and put her down so that we can finish our commercial. So if this is your first time at a Dear Julie Julie premiere, just know that it is a pre-recorded video. We use the premiere format, so we're all watching this video this at the same time as it premieres at 10.30 Pacific Standard Time every day. And by using the premiere format, we also get to have a live chat. You can join us in that live chat by hitting that live chat button right down there. Come on over, say hello, introduce yourself so that we can get to know you. We also have our Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group. We would love to see your projects. So any of your fun artsy projects, please, please share with us in the Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group. Um, it is a great place for us to be able to be a community and be together. So, and while we're home, safe right home, there is a free digital kit in the file section. It's there waiting for you. So let's get back to our program. Okay, so now we need to go ahead and... We need to stamp on some things or places for inside this journal. So I happen to have this right here um, that's a scrap. I mean, remember, in this, uh, this month's challenge, you can use anything in your stash, which is kind of a cool, cool thing. I love, I love that. I think that that's going to be really cool and we will we will be using some of these um, some of these along with plus we're going to stamp inside the journal okay so I'm thinking that okay and you need to use at least we have to have 12 places in the journal that we have stamped and we need to have, use at least six stamps. So I'm gonna start with my foam star. Okay. And I'm gonna prime it. And then I'm gonna check and see how I'm holding it. There we go. And then I'm gonna add it to a couple of those places, okay? And then I also think I want to add um, a couple of these, the circle, because I thought that was really kind of cool. Okay, so just kind of getting a collaged, it almost looks like a postmark stamp as well. Okay. So there, and we've used two, two stamps, okay? Um, and then we can go ahead and come in here and pull out some words that fit on this, okay? Okay, we have all is calm, all is bright. And go. Okay, so the other thing about these is you have to dip those on the on the pad. Okay, it's not gonna work the other way around. Okay, all is calm, all is bright. Okay. So there's that, and I will be able to add that into the journal. And, oh, that's right. The baby wipes are 
I ran out. <laughs> Don't you hate when you... Okay, well, we'll just... I'm just going to stamp off here <laughs> to clean it off. That's uh, all I can do at this point. It's okay. Okay, so all is calm, all is bright. I really like that. Um, Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear. Can you, do you know who says that? Do you know who says that? Christmas cheer. The best way to spread Christmas cheer. Oh, it's not going to fit on there. But... You know what? Let's go ahead. We can just put this into the journal somewhere. So I'm going to get it nice and juicy. And we'll find a spot. I love that page. <laughs> That's our stenciled page. I love the way it turned out. We are definitely going to want to to put something on there. Oh, okay. So remember, we need these have to be in places in the journal. I'm thinking right there. All is calm. All is bright. I like that on that page very, very much. Okay. Okay, here. I think that this will be good on this page. We're going to I'm going to might want to add some more ink to that just in case. It shouldn't have dried out. But archival ink does dry faster, which is awesome. Okay, now you might want to put something under it. So that it has a flat surface. Make sure that you're in the right direction. Press it down. Don't rock. it up and I love I mean most of these acrylic stamps give give really a great impression so that gives us our second space and maybe we might want to add um, something so I'm gonna go ahead and add couple of our hearts but I want to check them first. We're going to have this page going to be really covered with hearts. Finding out the best place to to hold it. Okay. And you want to probably put your um your image, the color, in at least three places. Okay, so there we go. And so that that is another stamped place. I um, I really like the way that turned out, actually. Okay, so um, okay, then we'll go ahead and take this one off. it back where it goes 
I really, I love this. It's the definition of Mary. M-E-R-R-Y. And I can get this on to this block by putting it across. Okay? Um, I do have the other blocks, but a lot of my blocks have stamps on them that I use all the time. And I just have them here in the drawer. So, okay, so we want to find a place for this. I probably should have found the place before I... Might be kind of fun to just put it right down there. Where did the card go that we... And it might be nice to give, like if you're giving a journal as a gift, to give a writing board, a hard board. Okay. Mary, full of high-spirited gaiety, jolly, jolly in disposition or spirit. I love that. So... Um, I got these, I believe, like at Michael's or Joanne's one year. I love the words, and I especially love words that are not um, Christmas card greetings, okay? That are words that you can, um, can put on other things as well as... Okay, so here we've got this little guy, and I think we can put something on here. So, let's see. Christmas is coming. It's almost here with Santa. And I think we'll put that, okay? Christmas is coming. It's almost here with Santa and presents, goodwill, and cheer. I'm going to go ahead and put this on this side. Go ahead and put the ink on it. So I hope this has given you some ideas of other ways that you can um, stamp. Okay, so there we added a sentiment to this. I love it. And it will fit right back in its little pocket up here. Our little penguins. Okay. And then this can go back on its place. Okay. Um... Another thing that's really fun to use is um, if you have a, okay, we have one here, okay, so a background stamp. So we have this that has just snowflakes, so um, having that is, it's one of your best little things that you're going to have, okay? So let's go ahead, so doing something like being able to, so we've got these little snowflakes. I still have the Be Jolly on here. But you can just go ahead and add them around the outside. And I want, i use that. <laughs> and you can go off, whoops, off the page. And you can, uh, Go ahead and lightly. <laughs> so, okay. So you can go like this and then do a second one and even a third image. Okay. So that's using a background stamp. And sometimes that will. Um, will help a page that just seems like it needs something. So say like here we have, I'm going to find that card again. Here we have the truck from the napkin and you can see the napkin. So 
this might help with that. I have a bigger snowflake stamp that I usually use that is a, um, a regular rubber stamp. Okay, so you can just add some snowflakes. Watch getting your finger in the See, that would have ended up on, on there. I'm going to go ahead and put this up closer to the edge where I'll have a little more control. And see, that wouldn't have happened if I'd have done this instead of dipping it in the... Okay. So just stamping your background stamp. Now I've got <laughs> I have ink and no baby wipes. Okay. So I am going to go back to the you can do you know like I did here with the stars. You can go ahead and put stars on a page and fill up your your journal that way. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and fill these out. Um, with some of my favorites. Okay, so I, well, I didn't find the be jolly place that I was looking for, so. I really like the words or the fa la 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 la. Okay, this one says fa la 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 and all that jazz. Fa la 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 and all that jazz. So I like that. Okay. So that one fits on there perfect. And if you had a few of these out, you could go ahead and and put your stamps on a few of them. Um, another thing is you can go ahead and stamp on your stickers. Even if Lucy or Chip got them. So let's see, what do we have That I'm looking for something that's going to actually fit on these. Okay, this one will fit, but it's going to go off the edge. Hopefully it won't go on to the other one. Okay, so let's go ahead. This one says, get your Mary on. So see, not not putting it straight on there, not worrying that it's part of it's not going to be, you know, that it's not going to all fit on there. And let's see, I might have to come back to this set. Okay, we have It's the Most Wonderful Time of the Year. Now remember, I have been collecting stamp all my stuff. Okay, I I once moved to the Midwest to Iowa and back, and I took my craft stuff. Okay, my craft stuff um, went. It got put in the. It might have even gotten put in the the thing first and one way we took a motor a uh, u-haul the largest u-haul and then also pulled a trailer behind it and the trailer was just full of my um 
my crafty stuff. Okay, so um, I, I, I have a lot of it. Oh, that snowman is so darn cute. Look at him. Oh my gosh. And the kitty, the kitty cat is so cute. So what other things, what other things do we have that we can, we can stamp and then add in? So we've got like our little tags, so we can stamp on little tags and add those in. You just have to have the 12 places. They don't have to be pages. They can be um, embellishments that you have embellished. Embellishments that you have embellished? Yes, they can be embellishments that you have embellished. Um, you know what? This color matches this journal. And that deer will fit on there. And you see, I can't, I'm, I'm going to have to go to the store one more time. I need, or I can make some baby wipes. Maybe. I haven't done that yet. <laughs> okay. So stamp the cute little deer. And... Too big for that one. He's too big for that one. But he will fit on that. Oh, but he'd be cute. Look at. I have to wait for him to dry, but we can go ahead and put him on here like this. Okay, so like this. And then he can go in. Very, very cute. Okay, so another one of my favorite um, stamps that I have is this Jingle Bell um, music and you know what it's it's it needs to be Let's see if we can get it to stick yeah okay also have our calendar, <laughs> our little calendar. Okay, and what I've done with this a couple times is I've gone ahead and um, rolled it to look like a scroll. either from the side. Um, another thing I've done is I've gone ahead, I cut it out. Okay. So there are, if, you, if you've watched the Christmas embellishment videos, um, there's a couple videos where I use these stamp sets. So I've gone ahead and done this. And then added it to a page. Let's see, what do I have around here that I can... Okay, I have some of the green paper. Go ahead and 
we'll be able to make a pocket out of this. So uh, go ahead and glue the center. And you could do this with, um, like if you have the new Pink Harmony digital kit or the um, Old Fashioned Love Songs digital kit. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and I've put down the center and now I'm gonna go ahead and add glue to the outside edge. And where I usually use a skewer. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and put this down and glue it down. We're going to have to do something over here because <laughs> I have messed up fingers. But you get, you're get you at least going to get the, the gist. Okay, so using the skewer, go ahead and put this down. Okay, so we get that, that look of an open book. And let's see, what do we have over here that we can add? I have the deer. Dot, dot, dot. Some gold fingernail polish where the green is. So there, that gives us a another little pocket that we can add into the journal. And okay, so I think we've given you several ideas for stamping. You can stamp on stickers. You can stamp on. Uh, you know, scraps of paper, tags. Uh, the kitty would be really cute on one of these. He's one of my favorites. I love this little kitty. Even though we have puppies this year. Puppies. We have puppies. But we have, uh, this looks like Lucy. We do have our kitties, too. Okay, so there's that. Okay, so, um, yeah, so adding music. Stamp to look like a book. You see how it goes up. Stamping on tags that you can put throughout the journal. Stamping on stickers and being able to add it in. As well as these. Okay. And 
and this is supposed to get a sticker like in that direction. It hasn't happened yet. Okay, so what was your favorite way of stamping? Um, I like the way these all turned out. I love, okay, so we have the distressed tool. We have the, the end of the thread. We have made a, <laughs> we made a stamp out of, I don't know where it went, but we did. We made one, okay, we made one out of a puffy heart. We made a stamp out of lace. We made one out of foam. Okay, so foam, puffy sticker. Lace, things that were hanging around, distressing tool, and then our stamps. And then we stamped on all these different, um, different ways. Okay, um, a background stamp is a great stamp to have. Um, and even if you don't have a snowflake stamp, you might have a... Uh, like hearts or just dots and you can use those they will be be awesome I love these these are some of my favorite stamps right here and I do ha also have um, the die cut that I can cut them um, but it's kind of exciting to be able to do all the colors um, stamp the colors the trees all the different colors red trees and green trees and be able to use them in my projects so that is stamping in your journal so uh, the uh, I just didn't want to do the obvious so all the types of stamping that I did you could actually do them on the pages in your journals you can add, like we can add some more background stamp here and, um, you know, around just places that look like they need to have a, a little something or to cover up something. Um, so say you have a calendar page like this one and you want to cover up. that it's a calendar, you know, that has those dates up there, okay? And um, so you can go ahead and ah, I, I changed my mind. So by doing the stickers, then you can go ahead and add them where you want. That's kind of cool. You can add it to the belly band. You can add your stamping onto the pages. You can add it onto the tags that you've made. <laughs> Make sure it wasn't supposed to be a pocket. Okay. So that's that's what we got going on here, and we will find places for these other pieces. Um, and then, so the next video will be a flip through of my finished journal. 12 was our last embellishment video that we needed to make for this. And so that's pretty exciting and just in time. I hope you enjoyed 
the um, the days of pink where we um, got to work with the new pink uh, digital kits I enjoyed having pink on my desk for a few days and um, I am excited to get this little uh, journal finished and oh look at we can put something in that lace pocket so yeah there we go we we have oh that looks cute I think we'll put him right in there and then this one goes I believe in the center signature yeah right in here and um, this time I'm just going to tie a bow in my the center. That will be that will be fun. Okay, so uh, there we go. Day 12 is done. We have we have finished all of our elements. So when I'm talking about finishing all the elements, this is for our December Junk Journal Challenge 2020. The details uh, video is link is in the description box down below. There is still time. This is probably one of the easiest to um, to do. You don't have to do them in order. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, like I did. I actually would probably go ahead and do the stamping as one of the first things. Maybe make the stickers and stuff like that and add those in. Um, stamp on the pages before they're actually in here. Um, but to be able to keep, keep track of everything with the 12 days of Christmas that I was doing with Kara Brandon and doing this and, um, you know, all the other things I had going on, it was just much easier to go ahead and put this so that, um, you know, go ahead and bind it and do it that way. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this. I'd love to know which one was your favorite. And um, did you like the other stamping techniques? Also, don't forget you can use um, the cardboard and uh, the corrugated cardboard. I'm looking for mine. I don't see it. I don't have it. You can do the rubber bands around the outside of your my rubber band you guys my rubber band died okay remember i notched it added rubber bands and used this to be able to make lines on a journal well rubber bands have a shelf life and they died <laughs> so so that's what happened to my rubber band i need to to add but i but it's still here i can just add new rubber bands and and to move on so I am looking forward to seeing what you make and I hope you, to see you post it in the, the December Junk Journal Challenge 2020 Facebook group. And remember to go ahead and put your elements in the element post. Um, don't forget about yesterday's mini challenge in the challenge. Uh, it is deadline December 27th. Okay. So I am going to put the December Junk Journal Challenge 2020 playlist up there as well as an embellishment video. And YouTube is going to add something that they think you want to watch. If you go watch any of those or any other video right after this one, it really does help my channel. Find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.